A North Carolina company is set to distribute a new device capable of detecting fentanyl in urine. The China-based company received the green light from the FDA just days ago. South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks joins us now. And Shakira, how is the company planning to distribute this device? Well, Morgan, they plan to see where the best usage of the device would be, whether that's in places like rehab centers or hospitals. The National Institute of Health reports deaths involving synthetic opioids other than methadone, primarily fentanyl, continued to rise with 70,601 overdose deaths reported in 2021. This device aims to save more of those lives. It works very similar to a COVID test, which everybody's used to. You drop three drops of urine on a little white strip, and then you place it into the analyzer. And within five minutes, once it's in the analyzer, you have a fentanyl result. North Carolina had more than 4,000 drug overdose deaths in 2021, the highest on record for a single year. And across the border, South Carolina saw a 35% increase in deaths from 2020 to 2021. Patty Shugart, the chief operating officer for Carolina Liquid Chemistries Corporation, says the device could be used in emergency room type of situations. We know that it's um, it's needed in the community because there are, it's, to get a fentanyl test any other way, it would take 30 minutes to, if they did an LCMS, it could take hours to get back a result. This way you can get back a screening result within six minutes. NYC Health says even though most people think that overdoses are immediate, most overdoses occur one to three hours after the drug is taken. Only about one in eight overdoses happen immediately after the drug is taken. Shugart says the point of the device is to create change, not only in the Carolinas, but across the nation as well. A child comes into a poison, you know, it's a poison control issue. They don't know what it is. And if they could test and get that six minute result and know it's fentanyl, boy, you know, that, that might save a life. And so, you know, if we save one life, we've done our job. So, Morgan, right now, South Carolina's fentanyl distribution bill awaits the Senate floor. North Carolina's bill awaits the House floor. And federally, several bills have been introduced to stop the fentanyl trafficking, but nothing has been passed. Morgan. Shakira, thank you.